Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. So let's do the monthly EX jobs tier list ranking for JP. But before we do that, I wanted to introduce Ready Player Will and his new series of tier list ranking videos. Uh, I cover Asadatol's guild battle tier list rankings and will continue to do so. But with all of the global changes like global first units and different EX schedule, I felt the JP list was becoming less and less relevant to global players. Uh, if I were able to make the global version, I would, uh, but I don't have the right knowledge, so I was thinking, who would be good? And Ready Player Will was the first one to come to mind. Uh, I've admired his channel for a while now. Go subscribe. Uh, he just broke 1k subs. Let's try to get him to 2k. Uh, but he has a lot of charisma. He is well-spoken. His videos have good production value. And although he's not the fastest YouTuber out there as far as unit reviews, and he doesn't have to be, uh, he has good analysis and he has his facts straight. Uh, also, and this is important, uh, he's very active in his highly ranked guild, uh, so he can speak with authority on the topic, uh, so he doesn't have to guess at anything. I put the idea to him uh, for the series of videos uh, the other day, and I felt very sorry about giving him more work to do. Uh, but from our back and forth, I learned that he was pretty much doing all of the work needed to make an accurate current tier list already. So this turned out to be great, uh, very organic. Uh, I just took an idea from a Sarato, I passed it along to Ready Player Will, and gave him a structure for the data he already had to present something easy to digest for viewers. Everybody wins. <laughs> and on top of that, he is very generously offered uh, to do these bi-weekly or more often based on how the guild battle meta shifts, uh, which is more than Asaruto ever did. And I was like, amazing, I love it. And then on top of that, he has another new series where he talks about the new maps and guild battles and talks about how the size and obstacles and starting positions affect unit movement and which types of units would be good. And I was like, yes, more. I was trying to wave my arms to get the sound waves to my ears faster. This is the type of content that the game deserves. So subscribe to his channel if you are at all interested in guild battles or just PvP in general. Alright, but let's go to my tier list. And uh, like I explain every time, these are units that were released in global without EX jobs, uh, but have them now in JP. And it's a guide meant to sort of suggest who would be the kind of the safest choices to take to EX jobs. Uh, we have no-brainer. I think everybody who has them at 99 would want to take them to uh, 115 or 120. And then going down, we have top, good, and niche. Uh, top units are also excellent choices, but not for everybody. Uh, good are solid picks, but not as good as maybe some of the other ones. And then niche are still perfectly good units, but not for every player. Uh, the player's got to want them for a specific reason, I think. And then I differentiate between uh, 120 and 115. Uh, maybe I can save you the last 200 shards uh, because maybe the units will be good enough at 115. They don't need that last ability. They don't need those uh, last stats, perhaps. Uh, but we'll start at the top. Uh, Gilgamesh is up here in a no-brainer. And another thing I want to point out is that um, for this tier list ranking, I don't take into account uh, the, the current meta. Like right now, uh, Mont and Rain make it difficult for Gilgamesh, but I'm not thinking about that. I'm just thinking about the character in and of itself, and I'm also thinking about uh, PvE as well as PvP. Uh, but he is an excellent investment. He's got that uh, slash resistance break, uh, which is still pretty rare. And then Ice Slash overall is very nice. Uh, you can get a lot of use out of them uh, doing raids uh, solo. Next is Federica. I'm going to leave her in no-brainer. I've been a little bit shaky on her lately just because of the uh, natural progression of power creep, but I think she's still good enough to be there. Uh, and then the winter units, I'm not going to talk about them anymore. I'm just going to leave them uh, where they are here. I'll talk about them once they uh, get EX jobs in uh, Global. All right, and then we got Super Stern and Dwayne. Dwayne is a no-brainer for sure. Uh, I think he's the most uh, kind of well-rounded character in the game. I said this in a uh, recent video. Uh, Super Stern, however, is not well-rounded. Maybe he does not deserve to be a no-brainer as much as Dwayne. And then a lot of JP players were uh, disappointed uh, by his uh, kind of his kit when he was announced, his EX jobs. 
What happens to him is that he gets a new kit and like new stats uh, that make him current, uh, but he doesn't dominate the meta like he did when he was first released. And maybe that's where people uh, were disappointed. I don't think you could go wrong with uh, EX Super Stern, uh, but the thing is, he's probably still good at 99, even for like raids and stuff, so I'm gonna take him down to top 120. Breaks my heart, but I gotta be honest with myself. <laughs> okay, next we're looking at a top 120. These are excellent choices, uh, but not for everybody. And then um, Jiza, I really recommended her for people that wanted a counter to uh, Megamont and then like Dwayne, I think it was. I think they're both weak to uh, strike. Uh, Rain as well. But is anybody actually using her for that in either version? <laughs> so I think I'll take her down to good 120. Her job level 25 skill is excellent. It is a single target attack resistance break, which is very, very rare. Uh, so if you do use her, you want to take her to 120. Uh, but I think there are other options. There are other more options to counter Dwayne and uh, Megamont. So maybe Jesus is not as needed anymore. And I know I just said that I don't take the, the current meta into consideration, but with Jiza, it was like it was like early days of EX jobs and there just weren't other options. Uh, but now there are, which will be there forever. So that's why I feel comfortable taking her down. Okay, Laswell, I'm gonna leave him at 120, top 120. Uh, again, for the Ice Slash, uh, that will go for regular Stern as well. I used uh, regular Stern in yet another raid, the Igion raid, so he's still keeping his value. Oh, and then as for Laswell, I made a recent video about top solo units, uh, units that can uh, work well by themselves if they're kind of separated from the rest of the group. Uh, but his Evade and then his uh, Barrier are very nice for keeping him alive. Okay, next we got uh, Rob. He's another candidate for uh, going off on his own. And especially if you have his vision card, he goes into overdrive. And then we got Rain and then Warrior of Light. Uh, tanks, I say this over and over, but they are some of the most versatile units as far as team building. They can enable you to make more types of teams and then go after more types of opponents in PvP. Uh, but on top of that, Rain has the chaining, he's got uh, various types of breaks, and then now he has pretty good damage output with his uh, EX job as well. And then a uh, Warrior of Light, we'll leave him at 120. He's maybe the tankiest of all of the tanks with EX jobs. Can't do as much other stuff as uh, Rain and Megamont, but if you need a tank, I think he's good. And he can do both physical and magic, so he's good. Okay, Christmas Venita, we will skip. Uh, Engelbert, I really want to put him in top 120, uh, but he's not as mobile uh, as the other tanks, so you kind of want to use him with a Time Mage if you do want to use him in a high-level PvP. It's very possible, as I've proved, but yeah, with so many other EX tanks out now, unless Engelbert's the only one you got, I think maybe there are easier to use options elsewhere. Okay, next is a regular Victora. I like her a lot, but she's kind of fragile. It's really, you have to like try to get in as much damage and then status effects before she is taken down to really get good use out of her. And I could say the same about Mediana. Might even want to take her down to Niche uh, because of Valentine Salia, she is such a good ice attacker. One of the better units in the game for attacking. But we'll leave her at good 120 for now. Okay, and then we got uh, Whisper 120, most versatile tank in the game. Based on how you equip her, you can make her do anything. I actually don't use her because she's so good against everything. <laughs> but a lot of investment uh, to get her up and running. Uh, but hopefully she gets the EX job soon in uh, Global. I'm interested to uh, hear what people have to say about using her. Okay, next we got uh, Kiton. I... I'm gonna put her in top 120. She's super duper good, but she takes a lot of investment to get up and running. Uh, so yeah, she's not gonna go to no-brainer. I'm gonna put her in top 120 because she does take work to get there, but yeah, excellent unit. And then uh, Vinita, I'm gonna move her up to good 120. Uh, I raised her myself to EX jobs, and it was kind of funny. I made my uh, video about solo units, 
and then like I made Vinara sound so good to myself that I changed my own mind, <laughs> and so I took her to EX Jobs.、Uh, I'm gonna leave her in good,、uh, but if you do want to take her to EX Jobs, I think you definitely want to take her to 120、uh, because she picks up a TP skill,、uh, which can give her more AP points. And this is really major for her. I mean, I knew that she wanted more AP points already because she had a problem with that、uh, from the very beginning.、Uh, but just the fact that she gets another TP skill is really good,、uh, because I don't think she has any other in her main job assassin. So just to have that one,、uh, on the one hand, it means she's going to have a higher、uh, chance of using it because it's the only one she's got. But it also means that you don't need to use some kind of weird sub job like thief. Just for the TP skills, it might also、uh, free up the、uh, the trust master that you want to use with her. So that、uh, job level twenty five skill is really important for her. That might really unlock her potential. So one twenty for her for sure. Okay, and then good one fifteen Erede and、uh, Christmas Ramada. I don't think I need to say anything about them. I don't think I need to say anything about any of the other characters either. You can check my、uh, older videos for stuff on that. Okay, and then we had the one your unit, which has been released so far in、uh, JP this month, and that is、uh, Grasida. Her job level twenty five skill is a short range AOE, which may stun.、Uh, that's not amazing. And then she gets more HP、uh, for her stat node, so I don't think one twenty is needed for her at all.、Uh, we're gonna put her in good. I really haven't heard of anybody. Talking about using her in JP, which is kind of sad. So, until I hear more, we'll put her in、uh, good 115. Okay, that will do it for this list.、Uh, later this month, there will be the EX job awakenings for both the、uh, summer units in JP.、Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they come out in global. Although maybe we should hope that they do not, because global players don't seem to like limited time units. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.